Welcome back, one and all, to Persona 5. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time, we usually got nabbed by male concubines in a very sleazy part of town. I'm sure he'll be fine. I mean, the fortune teller did warn him. ditched me yesterday. I, I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Ah, oh, it's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm, it's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you... Th a bank. I see. Candidate found. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. I just heard something. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. It was just my dog going crazy. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Shibuya? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. Beginning navigation. Okay, that's interesting. What are those? Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The dis 
distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Okay, luckily the palaces are somewhat linear. Okay, let's go. Hey! Uh... Please forgive me. Where's Kaneshiro? Come on, man. Joker. Oh, this one right here. Wait. Hey. What happened? What do you mean? couldn't find it. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! Maybe. This may be the limit of what we can do today. We gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? Alright, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! This was certainly a way to spend my Sunday. It's that Oya woman. Evening. Your <sighs> weeks of alcohol. Are you free? I can be. Ah. <sighs> 
I've been thinking lately. About those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive... Sorry, I... I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. It's okay. Keep going. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. That's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. Oof. Makoto has got to be the next party member. She needs to redeem herself. All you do is eat away at my life. Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just really tired. Oh my god. Here I thought she was just some prissy little bitch, but no, she's got... <sighs> well, this to deal with. She has no one but her sister. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. Got nothing. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Hmm? Okoto. What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh. That's so. You wear a more metaphorical mask. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Don't call her that. Useless? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. You stay, that's uncalled for. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop, since you're so good at it? Jeez, On, there's no need to be so hostile! <sighs> so you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Something like that. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly! But there's no need to be so hostile, either. So, you're just, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. She's totally gonna be the next party member. I'm just calling it right now. What exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Ugh, what is up with her? There are way too many people here! We're never going to find her. Hello? It's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street! 
She's being too rash. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students at Shujin Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Is this girl stupid or something? Hey, what? It's the guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro, son. Tell him we got a good one. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kanashiro-san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them! Ryuji, get a taxi. Okay, I've got their license plate. Their sketching skills will come in handy. He ignored me! Damn it, I said stop! Ryuji! Hurry up and get in! Well, Ryuji, you are certainly bold. You're not gonna kill you, right? So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san! What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits! Holy moly! That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one? How much was it? About three million. Three million for a bag? I'm looking it up. Ah! <gasps> for real? Better thank those guys. US dollars. That's twenty-six thousand dollars! What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. So, good luck. What is that supposed to mean? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Damn, I got booze and cigs in the shot. Maybe some drugs, too. Ah, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police, and I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I want to give you the usual month. But, of well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. So 
Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. I swear to God, this is cliche as all hell. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> For real. I was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke! I was so caught up in trying to be useful. Alright, enough of the blame game. What's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child, so all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. And that's why you were so reckless? wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. No. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. You're remorseful. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now. What should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kaneshiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji! Bank? Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? You'll, you'll see later. We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she, in particular, is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? The Metaverse. Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. It's Fox. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! <laughs> Morgana! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That 
voice. Takamaki-san? You're a little Where slow on the up pick and the pickup, aren't you? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? It's floating in the air. Th this is reality? <sighs> My goodness. Uh, yes and no. It's complicated. Don't question <sighs> it too. Don't think about it too much. I I'm sorry. It's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. A reality that one's heart shows. I is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? Kinda. That's something we have no idea about. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. You're definitely picking this up faster than Skull over there. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? We're about the same! Then... Does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world, too? Probably. Perhaps. Regardless, we can <coughs> change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal uh. his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? It can't. It's well, let's do this. I'm curious what her persona is going to be. Because let's face it, she's getting one. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in, since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue, after all. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We're totally robbers. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? They're basically demons we have to kill Enemies or attack enslave. Us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. I don't know what that is. I'll assume it's a martial art or something. Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I'd better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. <laughs> 